Hey everyone, today we are going to be looking at how we can inference with the C-Sharp Onyx Runtime API with the BERT Natural Language Processing Model. Let's take a look. So the first thing we need to do is actually get our model. There are many places where you can get open source models like the Onyx Model Zoo. We are actually going to be getting ours straight from Hugging Face. Hugging Face has a great overview of the model here if you want to learn more about that. We're actually going to be using this model, which is a question answering model. And some of the code that we're going to be using is also from this tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do here is download our model from the Transformers API for the BERT for question and answering. And then we are going to be using the torch.onyx.export to export our model. And again, this is built right into PyTorch. Here, we're giving an example um, input for when we serialize our model, since it needs to know what to expect. So when we export, we're going to be giving in the input, the input IDs, attention mask, and token type IDs. This can change depending on which BERT model you're using. Um, so make sure you pay attention to that when you decide uh, what BERT model you want to use, what flavor, or what task you're trying to solve. We'll send in the model that we just downloaded from Hugging Face give it a path, an offset version, and then um, those are those input names, and this is the output names, the start and end logits. And then here we're giving it dynamic axes, and this is because our sentences for both context and questions are going to be of variable sizes, so we need to set our dynamic axes. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these cells. All right, you can see that our model is now exported into our Onyx format, which is what we need in order to inference in C-sharp. The other thing that's in this notebook is um, the pre-processing and post-processing uh, to run the model with Onyx Runtime in Python as well. And that can be useful because if you want to check what the tokenization is to confirm your tokenization is correct in C-sharp, you could do that. So here you can see we're printing out the input IDs, token type IDs, and attention mask. And then we're, we're sending in um, the input, which is the question, which is uh, what is Dolly Parton's middle name, and then the context, which has the answer, and then the model is figuring out what the answer is, which it is Rebecca. Okay, so now we've tested our exported model, and we've seen what the tokenization should be within Python. Now let's go over to C-sharp. So here's our C-sharp project. Um, and before I jump into this, I want to talk about this BERT tokenizer package that we're using. So this is important. This is what we need in order to be able to tokenize and pre-process our text in order to uh, do our inferencing in C-sharp. This tokenizer was created by um, an open source contributor, uh, Nicola. So thank you very much for this awesome tokenizer that you created, enabling us to be able to inference in C-sharp. And if you take a look, he lists out here the different models that it supports. So the thing with BERT models is that most of them are based off of one of these and they'll be fine tuned. So if you notice with ours, if I go back here, you'll notice that it is a BERT large uncased and it's been um, fine tuned for this. So if you're gonna be using this tokenizer, Make sure you know what your base model was um, was trained on, and so you are using the correct tokenizer from the library. So ours is the BERT base uncased. So in this console application, um, let's take a look at what we're doing. So I changed the question in this one. I did where is Bob Dylan from, and then I put the answer, which she's from Duluth, Minnesota. And so similar to Dolly Parton's question, but a little bit different, now we're saying, where are you from versus what is the middle name? Um, so we're setting that sentence. And then we are going to get our tokenizer. So you can see this is the BERT uncased large tokenizer, which is the one that our model was fine tuned from. So the tokens will be the same. We're going to get the tokens from the sentence. Um, and this gives us the length. So the tokens is how many you know, individual words tokens um, exist. And then we can also print out the tokens. So let's actually run this so you can see here. So you can see the sentence and you can see how the tokens come out. So first we are going to um, encode 
our tokens, right? So here's our tokens. And then from there, we are going to create this BERT input. And if I scroll down here, you can see this is just a class I created in this. Obviously, this should be in its own file, but we're just doing a little test project, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then from here, we are getting our input IDs, attention mask, and type IDs. Um, and these are the inputs that our model is expecting. So if we go ahead and take a look, now we can see our tokens. Cool. Now, if we wanted to confirm this tokenization, I know it's correct. You could go back to um, this Python notebook and you could tokenize um, a new, you could put the new sentence here and print out your tokens and confirm that it's the same if you wanted to kind of have a sanity check as you're experimenting. I know that this is already right since I've tested it, but as you're going through, you might wanna check and make sure you're using the right tokenizer for your model. So here I'm just grabbing the model we just exported. And then from there, I need to convert to a tensor. So here I'm taking each um, BERT input, right? Those are my input IDs, my attention mask, and my type IDs. And then I'm setting, sending them in to my convert to tensor helper method that I created here. So this tensor is part of the Onyx runtime package. So you need to be able to create a tensor and um, put it in the format that the Onyx runtime package is expecting in order to do inference. So that's what we're doing here. We're creating it as a tensor and we're creating it as the right shape um, and then sending back that input in order to do inferencing. So that's the shape that the model is expecting. So if we take a look what that looks like, when we're done, here is what the input is expecting. And if we take a look, oh, I don't think I have it printed out. If you wanted to confirm that this is the same, we could add a print here. So here, if you take a look, you can see that our shape is correct. Great, so you don't obviously have to go back and forth between your Python and your C-sharp. I find that easier because you're most likely gonna be finding Python um, example code for your model, and then you're just gonna be translating that into the C-sharp that you need. So um, I find it useful to double check and make sure everything's working the way that I need it to, and making sure that my tokenization and everything matches up. All right, so now we have all of the uh, inputs here. And the Onyx Runtime uh, C Sharp API is expecting a list of the named Onyx value, which again is an object from the C Sharp API for Onyx Runtime. So, what we want to do is take the create from tensor, give it what the uh, input actual ID is that it's expecting in the model and then give it the tensor that we created um, from our data up here. So now we have an input with the label name that it's expecting and the um, values. So the rest of this is very similar to what you would expect from any Onyx inference session. You create your session, um, you load your model and then you run inference. So that was pretty quick. We have our, now we have our in and out. Um, and so to post-process this model, again, I took a look at how it was being done in Python to understand what the results were and what I needed to do with them. So I recreated this in our C-sharp. So first thing I need to do is get a list of the start logits and the end logits. So I'm taking the output, um, putting it to a list and then grabbing the first output, which is this. And then I'm casting it as um, an enumerable and an enumerable, and then creating it as a list to get my result of my, st my start and end list. So if I take a look, I now have inference values for each index that was sent in, each token. And then I want to get the index of the largest start logit and the end. So now I have the beginning and end of my result from the context that was sent in for the question. So these tokens are the original tokens um, from the sentence, right? So we 
tokenized our sentence. We printed those out. From here, I am using some link to um, skip. So the start index is a padding. And then um, I want to grab the result. I'm actually finding what the ID is. And then from there, getting the vocabulary index. So here, um, we found what the answer was since we gave it the, the question and the context. And from there, it predicts what the answer is. And then we just print out what the predicted tokens are, which is Duluth, Minnesota. And that is correct. So that was a quick example of how we can use a C Sharp console app and Hugging Face to download a pre-trained question answering BERT NLP model, export it to Onyx, use the open source BERT tokenizer, and pre and post process our model in C Sharp and get that result. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below, and thanks for hanging out.